Keep It Simple Phone Tech here with the first installment in the basic series and we're going to talk about the home button to start with. Now the way this series will be broken down, we're going to identify parts, we're going to look at basic functions of the home button and then other areas that are basic on your phone here to help you to identify those parts. We'll look at maybe one or two Android models. We'll look at one or two Windows models, depending on if it's necessary, and then we'll look at an iPhone. So bear with, again, you're not going to have your exact phone, but this series will be helpful enough to give you an idea on your phone as far as what you're looking for. Like in this case, again, we're going to be talking about the home button, and you'll be able to identify its basic function even though it may not look exactly like what you would see as far as the examples on this video. Okay, so with that introduction now, let's talk about the location of the home button. In general, the home button is going to be in the same location, even though it may not always look exactly the same. So, let me just show you a few examples of what I'm talking about. On Samsung, if you have a Samsung model that's two or three years old, more than likely, your home button will look like this. It's going to be a physical button. It will be pill shaped like so. Forget that glare there, but it'll look something like that. Ah, but the beauty of Android and even with Windows and Windows phones is that not every phone is created equal, at least in the sense of how they're home buttons, how they appear, what they look like. However, again, the functions are the same. We'll cover that in just a moment. But here's just another Samsung model, and you may see something like that. Even if your phone is not made by Samsung, if it's made by LG or HTC or OnePlus, etc., some of the other makers out there for Android, just want to show you this difference in the home button. Unlike the first phone that had a physical button, this one has what's called a capacitive button. Or capacitive key. Now I should say here that the, the words or the terms button and key they can be used interchangeably so the home button is the home key the power button is the power key etc so just want to make sure you are aware of that. Anyway this is the home button and we'll just use the button for this video and it has the exact same function as does the first phone that had the actual physical home button. Alright, so now we have a Windows phone in front of us and it also has a capacitive button for the home button which is right here. The little symbol is the Windows icon and again it's going to have the same function as the home button on Android or as the home button that we will see on iPhone, on an Apple iPhone here in just a moment. But I just wanted to also call out this. Windows operating system on smartphones, instead of them referring to this as the home button, instead they call it the start button. So I just wanted to make sure that you were aware that the home button and the start button, same thing, and they have the same function. It's just two different names for the same thing because Windows prefers to call it the start button just to make sure that you are aware of that. So again, this is a capacitive button, just like what we saw in the previous Samsung. Now let me show you another Windows phone that actually has a touchscreen home button. All right, here is another Windows phone in front of us. And again, here is the home button, or the start button, as far as Windows likes to refer to it. But the difference is that this is a touchscreen version of the home button. And again, your Android or your Windows phone may have a touchscreen home button. In the case of Android, it tends to look like either a little circle or it may look like a little house icon that we saw on the second Samsung phone that we looked at in this video. So again, it's going to have the same function. It's going to take you back to your home screen. We're going to cover the function here in just a moment once we take a brief look at the iPhone's home button. But the other call out that I want you to be aware of is imperfect because the screen is about to black out right now. When the screen goes black, 
the home button is no longer there. So do keep that in mind. The home button is only there on a touchscreen phone when the touchscreen is actually turned on. All right, and finally, as far as identifying the home button, we have our iPhone in front of us, and I love the simplicity of Apple, whereas Android, uh, the beauty of Android is that you can get so many different variations of Android, so many different flavors. With Apple, they keep things simple. That's their beauty. And so the home button is going to be the same on any iPhone, and that's going to be this circle right here. Very easy to identify. Okay, so now that we have identified the location as well as the variations of the home button for different phones, let's talk about its basic function. Its job is to take you to the home screen. At least that's the basic function across the board, whether it's Android, Windows, or iPhone, whether it's a physical button, a capacitive button, or a touchscreen button. So let's take a look at an example here. We're just going to look at it on this phone, the example, because it's going to be the same again across the board. I'm going to open up this application. And now we're in the clock application. When I press on the home button, I'm just going to press it one time. It takes me back to the home screen. Again, we'll go ahead and open up a second application just because. So we open up the Google app. Press on the home button again. Takes me back to the home screen. Before wrapping up this video, I just want to show you a bonus function that is exclusive to phones that have physical home buttons. Let me black the screen out here. Phone is still turned on, but the screen is just in sleep mode. If I press the home button from here, it'll take me to my lock screen or it'll light the screen up. So this is a bonus function of the home button if it is a physical button. So any phone that has a physical button, again we have the Samsung here, we look at the iPhone, the iPhone will do the same thing as well. That's a, a bonus function for the home button. Just wanted you to be aware of that. Okay, so that'll do it for the basic series and the home button. We talked about its location, some of the variations, as well as its basic functions. Again, if you have a physical home button, you're going to have a bonus function as well. Are there other functions of the home button? Yes, it's difficult to cover all of them because as you go from manufacturer to manufacturer, um, there's going to be some differences. So I just wanted to make sure we covered at least the basics because these are the standard across the board, what we covered in this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. And again, this is Keep It Simple Phone Tech with the Basic Series.